well, before I found out I was pregnant, um, I was actually homeless. I was staying in the pit in the truck, and um, I remember I was actually having to sleep sitting down because there was not a days in the truck. So you, it just sucks. Like I was scared. I, I felt lonely. I ended up finding out I was pregnant, so I didn't know what I was gonna do. Um, so I prayed, and luckily I found um, the Bella House, the maternity home, and I kept calling and calling to get, you know, an interview and stuff. And they finally gave me one. So when I got accepted, I felt like it was the way of God showing me that hey, I'm here. My mom is. An alcoholic. So I couldn't turn to my mom. Um, in fact, when I found out and I told her I was pregnant, she automatically told me that maybe the best thing would be was to get my son up for adoption. So when she told me that, I just knew I couldn't, you know, I couldn't turn to her. Luckily, I got into the Bella house. Once I got into the Bella house, I didn't have anything. Like when I first got there, I literally had like two bags of clothes some saddles. Um, I had lost my birth certificate, social security, ID, everything. So I had to start over. So when I got there, I told him, I don't even have a social birth certificate to, to, to give y'all. She was like, don't worry, we'll take care of that. We'll go take you to get one. So the following day, they actually took me to go get my birth certificate. Then little by little, they took me to go get my social. Then my ID, after my ID, I got my driver's license. At first I felt nervous and I was like, wow, these people, are, they don't even know me. They're like so nice to me, wow, like, you know? But I seen everything the way they were. They were just nice people. Like, I was just like, wow, like, and they didn't want nothing from you. They just, all they wanted was just, hey, just do your best and know that we have your back. We're here for you and you're not alone. Little by little, I just got excited. I actually had my first baby shower there because of everything that was going on. I felt, I didn't feel no need to talk to my family members. I felt like if you turn your back on me when I needed you the most, I didn't need y'all. Like God brought these great people into my life. Like, and I honestly believe that because I really prayed so hard, like really, really. And I felt like he just, he just heard me. And little by little, I started going to church. I've always wanted to get baptized. Like that's something that I've always wanted since I was young, but I just never, I never, I was never able to. So I started going to church. I started going to gyms and the more and more I went, it's like the more I felt closer to God, he was, he sent people into my life, you know, to help me. And I feel like I'm so grateful for that, that I still go to church because I feel like I don't I feel like he's the only one to listen to me when I really needed it. Part of being at the Bella House, uh, I you go to Project Gabriel. So I remember when I first met Margaret, cause she used to be my ride. I was like, oh, she was so nice. Um, so she would go pick me up, me and other moms. And we would go, and I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning, like, I would be like, oh, okay, so what's this class about? So I would just sit there, you know? But then little by little, I was like, wow, they have all kinds of classes and things that you can actually use to learn, like, that are useful. I learned how to do CPR. I learned how to finance, like, manage my money. I learned um, job skills, which they actually helped me, like, do resume, you know? I've learned so many things about coping skills that I really needed about forgiveness because I had a lot of anger in me and I learned to forgive. And I, I remember I used to look forward to go, like anytime it was time to go, like I would be ready just waiting for Margaret. Like she's gonna come and get us. And I've learned so many things. And one of the things that I've learned is that I don't wanna be the way that my family was to me. I wanna be better. I want my son to see better. I want you to know about God because we never went to church. I want him to be a good man, a respectful man. 
I want him to know and respect women. So I want everything that he sees, and I believe that all the people around me that I associate myself with that are good people, I think that he's going to get him. If there's like anybody that comes um, that feels that they hate me, that's not true. Because God works many, many ways. And as long as you give it your all and you put some work into it, because nothing's going to be easy. Life is not easy. God's not going to just, hey, they're not just going to hand you things. If you put work into it, it's possible. And you can make it especially when there's people around you that motivate you, encourage you, and most of all believe in you and don't judge you for your past, I think you can do it. I started off of cleaning houses. I worked for the DFW maids. So I started off at 1450. I didn't even have a car. I used to go in the bus. Like I used to ride the bus, take my son to daycare, go to work after work, same thing, just, you know, it would be cold, it would be hot. Hey, you know, I did it. Um, now I make $22. I've worked my way up. I run my own team. I sometimes give estimates. Um, they're teaching me how to do computer skills to arrange the homes for appointments and stuff so I can earn more money because I'm doing good. But I started off at 14, worked my way up to 16, 18, 22. And as soon as I learned everything, like I'll make more money. So I mean, like I said, everything is worth it as long as you don't give up. Actually, Miss Maria said I would be for like almost two hours <laughs> to um, teach me how to manage my money. So she just wanted me to be sure that I was going to be ready. When I got my place and I manage it very, very well because I actually have a good amount left over and I'm like, wow. <laughs> I have a car, I have my own apartment. Um, I actually was able to buy me my own bedroom set, like brand new. <laughs> I have a uh, furniture, like when I, when I first got it, I was sleeping on the floor and just little by little, you work yourself up. I have just my angel, she helped me with some leather couches, just little by little just yeah and instead of me having two bags of clothes i have like two full closets close now <laughs> so and my son has this iron closet like i mean i feel grateful for everything like sometimes when i go to sleep at night i just lay there and i'm like thank you god thank you for everything that you've done for me like i appreciate everything